Hi, this is Alton Olson from Green Bay, Wisconsin, and uh, coming in he- at, coming at you from Disc Jockey News. Thanks, John Young, for having me on for one of these segments. And I thought, I actually thought quite a bit about what I was going to do this segment, so much to the point where I'm actually getting this to John a little bit later than I promised him. Sorry about that, John. I hope you'll forgive me. A lot of you probably know me from live streaming. I've helped a lot of people, a lot of people you've probably seen too, um, that uh, have gotten and done more with live streaming, like like Chad Blackburn and, and uh, Rob Frey and um, you know some other ones too. That uh, you know when all this started, you know was trying to get out there and give more information on live streaming and how to get it set up and started in the technical aspects of it, and. I also talk a lot about mixing. If you've been to Midwest DJs Live, you knew I was a board member on it, uh, if you know me at all. And then I also gave a seminar just at the last the last one we had last year. But today I want to talk about something totally different. And it's something that is affecting a lot of people in these times. Right now we have more turmoil than I think any of us have really experienced in our lifetime as a general population. And that comes from all the unrest, for example, the the protests and the riots that have been happening nationwide. Just what COVID-19 and the pandemic has done to, to our society and to our industry. Just a few weeks ago, we had the entertainment you know, world on red alert where we all turned our profile pictures red to show everybody that we're struggling. The entertainment industry is struggling. We're all, we're all losing money this year. We've all lost this year. We've all had a lot of stuff get transplanted to next year. And I mean, I don't know of anybody who hasn't lost or is, is not doing as well this year as maybe they were last year. So there's no, there's no shame or there's no, um, you know, there's there's no black mark, if you will, on not doing as well this year as, as last year. We're all having a hard time. And with that, it takes a toll on our mental health. Mental health is very much a real thing. And I don't think a lot of people dispute that. Uh, I think it still has a stigma to this day. But we're going to talk about it for a little bit. That's what I'm going to take my segment and the rest of the seven minutes I have left to talk to you to talk about mental health a little bit because I can speak to you from it from a personal standpoint and how it can be something that that uh, you have to keep in check and keep healthy just like just like anything else in your in your life and your health and for me, it started a couple of years ago. I actually started having some anxiety attacks. And I, uh, the, the first couple ones I experienced, I ended up thinking there was something else really going wrong and ended up going to seek medical attention for them, to which I was told there was nothing physiologically wrong with me that would have, you know, would have been life-threatening, thank God. But then there was still something wrong that had to be addressed and found out it was anxiety. With everything that's going on right now, it's no secret that anxiety and depression among the American population is is at an all-time high. I'm sure that a lot of you are doing the best you can to survive, doing the best you can to remain positive, and optimistic about the future. But I think we'd be lying to ourselves if we didn't say that we were, that there was uncertainty and perhaps even fear about what's going to happen coming up here. Hopefully, we're optimistic and we, there's, we, we believe in the power of what we can do as a society to help overcome what's happening right now. And I certainly want that to be the case. Let's talk about what we can do right now to help ourselves. So a few things that we can do to try to 
help keep our own happiness and our own mental health well-being in check one of the things of course is we can continue to work on our growth now i know we're not bringing in a whole lot of money right now to go out and pay for classes and and obviously there aren't conventions and seminars happening right now to the extent they normally would because they're being shut down due to preventing the spread of COVID-19. But what we can do is we can use our resources online. There is a resource called TED Talks, and I'm sure most of you have heard of this, but in case you've forgotten about it or in case you've never heard of it before, get back on TED Talks. Watch and go through them. It is just a treasure trove of information and and stuff that can help you, not just in DJing or your business, but in your life in general, in your life, in your relationships. Uh, perhaps if you are pivoting right now and trying to look into doing another business, it could help you with that too. Another really great site that I've been a member of for a couple of years and have absolutely loved and thoroughly enjoyed is Masterclass. Masterclass is a site where they get people who are the absolute top in their field, people like Gordon Ramsay for cooking, uh, Penn and Teller for entertaining and, and magicians, obviously. They have Armin Van Buren as a DJ. They have Dead Mouse as a producer and DJ. They have Timberland, Timberland as a DJ, or not as a DJ, as a producer. So there's things that are related to music. There's things related to filmmaking, to cooking, to art, to all kinds of things. They have um, NASA scientists. I mean, just about all the really cool, like, I would dream of doing this kind of stuff. The people who are doing that, they have their, that are just, they're giving away their secrets and everything they do to do what they do. And it's really cool. I highly suggest doing it. It does cost, it is a yearly subscription fee, but I think it's worth it. The last thing I wanna to talk to you about with the last couple of minutes I have left here in our 10 minute segment is mindfulness. Mindfulness has been probably the biggest thing that has helped me personally in getting through a lot of these challenges that have been coming up, especially uh, this last these last seven, eight months that we've been experiencing the COVID-19 and, and the unrest and all this other, all these other things that are happening to the world right now. So mindfulness is related to meditation, but it is essentially a realization that, and this may sound a little weird, but give it a, give it a chance, just give it a chance. It is a realization that you are not your thoughts. You are the observer of your thoughts and what happens around you. But you, you, are not, you do not have to be identified by those thoughts or think that they are completely you. You get to observe the thought and then choose how you want to use that thought, react to that thought, respond to that thought, whatever the case might be. And I suggest you do guided meditation at first to sort of learn this mindfulness and to practice it. And then you need to get the silent meditation where you sit in just complete silence and do nothing but focus on your breath or one other singular thing for a good amount of time. We're talking 10, 15, 30 minutes. And once you get to the discipline where you can keep your mind quiet for that long, that's where things start to open up and you get to start using this mindfulness to really start tackling some of life's, life's problems that we all face. So I highly suggest that there are several apps on the, in the app ecosystems, whether you're Android or iPhone, Aura, Calm. There is a mindfulness app that the Department of Veteran Affairs puts out that is very good, that is also completely free, and I highly recommend it. Uh, in it, you'll know if you, ha you have the right one. It's got a leaf for an icon, and as you become a better mindfulness expert, you grow a tree in the app. It's kind of neat. Lastly, of course, if you're ever feeling really down about something, there's always the crisis line and there's also your state health department. Make sure you reach out to them if you need the help and the resources they provide. Thank you, guys. I sincerely wish all of you the best and prosperous future, and I hope we all recover from this. Take care.